Hello everyone, welcome back to Bioschool. This is Gayatri. In today's session, we are going to talk about phenocopy. I will make you understand this topic in a very easy way. So please do watch the video till the end. Let's begin. So first understand the term. Phenocopy. Phenocopy means what? Phenocopy means it's just the phenotype. And you know what is phenotype? Phenotype it is observable trait, right? Then the other term is copy. Copy means what? Copy means duplicate or identical to another, right? Identical to another or duplicate. So now you can define phenocopy. Phenocopy, an individual mimics or duplicate the phenotype of another genotype. Of another genotype. Okay, this is phenocopy means. Okay. Pheno means phenotype, copy means duplicate. So, an individual it mimics or duplicate the phenotype of another genotype that is known as phenocopy. So, let's understand phenocopy by taking examples. So, first we will take the example of Himalayan rabbit. Himalayan rabbit in moderate temperature. Body coat color is white with black marks on ears, nose and in tails. So, this is Himalayan rabbit. In moderate temperature, body color is white but the color of ears, nose, even toes and tails are black color. Okay. But when the temperature it changes from moderate temperature to cold temperature, okay, in cold temperature, what happens? The body color changes to complete black color. So here, the black color body of Himalayan rabbit in cold temperature mimics or duplicate the phenotype of phenotype of naturally black rabbit natural black rabbit the coat color is black it is because of its genotype right so what do we conclude we conclude that in cold temperature himalayan rabbit mimics phenotype of naturally black rabbit Okay, naturally black that is because of its genotype. So, Himalayan black rabbit, it duplicates or mimics the phenotype of another genotype. This is phenocopy. Okay, that means the two individuals, they are genetically different but have same phenotype. So, why? What causes this change in phenotype? This is caused because of the environmental factors. So, what do you think? This phenotype is heritable or not heritable? Yes, this phenotype is not heritable. It's not heritable because there is no change in genotype. Only the phenotype is changed by some environmental factors. So, this phenotype is non-heritable or not heritable. Let's take another example. Another example is uh, Pocomilia. Pocomilia is a rare genetic disorder, disorder in humans that leads to limb defect. Limb defect. That means the limbs are either underdeveloped or absent. Okay. So this is an image of Pocomilia. Here you can see the limbs like arms and legs are underdeveloped and they are close to the trunk okay this is a, a rare genetic disorder phocomelia but if the mother is consumed thalidomide drug during pregnancy then also that leads to limb birth limb defect so here the birth limb defects in the child in the child because of the thalidomide drug, it mimics phocomelia. It is a rare genetic disorder. So here, 
the birth limb defect in the child it mimics or duplicate or copy the phenotype of phocomelia that is because of genetic disorder let's take another example example number 3 is uh, pku you almost know what is pku it is phenyl ketoneuria so phenyl ketoneuria it is an autosomal recessive disorder in this disease there is a defect in gene or gene defect so phenyl ketoneuria it is an autosomal recessive disorder there is a gene defect which cannot synthesize the enzyme enzyme the enzyme is phenyl alanine hydroxylase which is required to convert phenyl alanine to tyrosine okay. so is the is because of the gene defect the enzyme cannot be synthesized and phenyl alanine cannot be broken down let's say a mother she is suffering from phenyl ketoneuria disease and she is pregnant that means if she is suffering from phenyl ketoneuria disease so she should be in food restriction she should not take phenyl alanine in her diet but if not then what will happen excess phenyl alanine it will cross placenta and give child phenyl ketoneuria phenotype even though the child is genetically unaffected so here the child with phenyl ketoneuria phenotype it mimics the phenotype of another genotype this is all about phenocopy hope this video will help you a lot if you like this video then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye see you in my next video till then keep learning